Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, so yet again, I'm gonna continue uh, some tutorials I did earlier. Um, so I suggest you first do the two videos now showing on the screen. Uh, first create a shooting range uh, by using an array and then the next video where you make the targets appear uh, you know, on their own accord. Um, this time we're gonna implement a simple point system so when you shoot the targets it will add to the points. Uh, so what we have right now is I go here and I press F and it starts uh, the shooting practice and I have to shoot them within five seconds or the game ends. So just to have a quick little overview of what we have done up until now. Um, in the level blueprints, we have, you know, press F to spawn the targets by a timer uh, with a custom event, you know, gathering all the target points in an array and then spawning them. And here's the target points and the targets themselves are called the target thing and this is it and here you have if target is hit you know the bullet overlaps or the projectile and it emits something and it plays a sound and then it's destroyed and then if it's not hit you know within five seconds the game quits so now we will implement a simple score system so we will start by fetching the game mode and since this is the first person template you will find this in the first person BP blueprints and then first person game mode and if you see it like this then make sure to open full blueprint editor editor yes and inside here we will create a custom event so right click and create add custom event and we will call that add targets target points for example what we'll do here now is create a new variable we will call that simply target score you could just call it score you know uh, and with it selected here up in the details panel you have the variable type make sure it's an integer now compile to make this default value uh, selectable uh, no that's not important yet so what you need to do though is uh, drag this into the scene and get it into the graph I mean and then you drag this node out and you just click plus and you take integer plus integer and you hold alt alt in and click to remove it and you put it into the the nether node <laughs> and what we need to do now is add a node like this on the custom event so select the custom event and then you have inputs here so click new and choose integer here as well and call this parameter whatever you want just you know add score point for example doesn't really matter that much and then just connect this then drag in the target score yet again and you will set it and connect this node to that node and connect this node to that node and everything is awesome so we'll just compile and save this now we will go and find our target thing and inside here we will make sure that when the target is hit it will add points to the score add score to the points yeah whatever and we could insert that you know right after the projectile overlaps the component after the spawn emitter is spawned or after the sound is played uh, but I think I want to take it after the destroy actor because if you insert it earlier then the collision box is still there so if you shoot a lot of bullets at the same time you might get more score than you deserve <laughs> so 
I'm trying to remedy that by taking adding the score after the actor is actually destroyed. So uh, drag this out after destroy actor and cast to first person game mode. And the object of the game mode is get game mode. Like so. And now we will um, mm, 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 mm. we will fetch the variable we created. And where is that? Yes, it's just simply called target score. So drag out this and search for target score. Here you have it. Add target. Hmm. No, not that one. Or is it that one? Yes, it is. It is. It is. I'm sorry. That's what the, that's the one it is. So um, you add this custom event. You know, I thought I was going to take this, but it's the event you will add. So, yeah. Now you can right click here and promote this to a variable. And you can simply call this target score as well. Now compile this and select the target score variable again and in here you will decide how many points you will get per target you destroy so you know, I don't know let's 10 points for example for target destroyed why not right so compile and save and save now we need to make sure the yeah we need to create the HUD so I'm just gonna create it inside here where the target thing is so just right click and go to user interface and widget blueprint and I will call this target score HUD for example so double click that now inside here you can go down to panel and take a horizontal box and drag this in and make it big and beautiful. Then take a text box, drop this, select that, and on the vertical alignment, make sure it's set like that. Then under appearance, we will increase the font a little bit and change the color a little bit. To whatever color you like and then in the text field we will write target score no that's that's really stupid just score now we will drag in another text box and we will also on the vertical alignment set it to center and fill it up and increase the font somewhat give that a color as well on the text you can just write zero 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 one more no one less yes like that it doesn't really matter how many you have there it's just it's gonna be the point place the score place yeah so compile and save just save you know always just save now uh, select the zeros and here in the text area go to bind and create binding now we're going to create a function uh, and we will call this function just the same as the other ones you know target score in here we will cast again yet again we will cast to the first person game mode yes cast to first person game mode and yet again the game mode we will get is the game mode <laughs> like that and out from this drag out and search for whatever the name of the variable was which is target score so we drag out and search for target score then we will get target score and we will connect this to the return node and it will for us convert it to text. So compile and save.
there's a little note here note here but I don't really think that's a big deal it has always worked for me so yeah so now that the HUD is created we need to make it visible to the viewport so we actually can see it in the game and for this project we will simply go to the level blueprint and right click and on events begin play we will drag out and create widgets in the class we will search for HUD find our target target score HUD and finally drag out this and take add to viewport and add the target to the return value like so and compile and save now let's see so we play and here the score is let's see if it works press F to initiate shooting practice and we get score now I can see that even though I added it after the actor is deleted, it's still counting too many <laughs> from time to time. Um, so yeah, that's okay for now, you know. At least you have a simple score system that you can use. And that's how far I came. <laughs> so hopefully that was helpful and you know, just let me know if you have any questions. And have a great day.